In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to construct congruent angles. So the first thing we want to do is we want to start with a working line again. That's always our first step in construction is starting with a working line. And we want to label our point that's going to be our new vertex. So mine is going to be on the left end. The angle is the rotation from the initial ray, which in this case BC is my initial ray, to the terminal ray, which is BA. And I want to strike an arc across both of those rays. Then we're going to place the stylus on the new vertex and strike an arc large enough to make sure we can cover that amount of rotation. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to open the compass the distance across the angle where the arc intersects both rays. So I'll place my stylus on one intersection. And when you strike, you want to make sure you go right through that intersection point. It looks like I got it really well right there. We'll bring the compass to our intersection of our ray and our arc. Measure that distance along the arc using the compass and then we can connect our vertex to our intersection point. And draw the ray through that point. And if we have a name for this angle, say MNO, there's M, our vertex is N, and our last intersection is O. Now, something to be careful of when you're constructing angles, especially those that are very acute. If you work with a very small compass setting, sometimes it's very difficult to get the compass at those small settings. So the larger the construction you make, the easier it's going to be. And also, if you make a tiny error at a short measurement as you go out the ray, at that error is going to be multiplied the further away from that point where the error was made will be. And that concludes this construction.